Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing this festival inspired uh, makeup look and after seeing everybody's Coachella pictures I was just super inspired and I decided to you know get myself together and create this bomb ass look. So now I am applying my Pond's Dry Skin Cream and this is my favorite moisturizer. It's great 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 for my dry skin um it contains glycerin and as you guys know glycerin is like the glue in makeup so it just holds my foundation in perfectly it's just amazing and now i'm going in with this elf uh, blending brush and my Too faced chocolate bar palette in the color salted caramel i think that's a color i'm using but i'm just using that as my transition shade and now going in with the Melt Cosmetics Radioactive Stack and this Real Techniques Blending Brush. I'm packing that yellow shade onto my lid and then I slowly blend it up into the transition color just so everything can be nice and blended. And now taking the orange shade in the same um, eyeshadow stack and I'm taking a Morphe brush I believe. And I'm placing that on the outer corner and slowly blending it in towards the inner corner just so it can have a nice gradient effect. And now taking the pink eyeshadow and blending that out from outer corner to inner corner as well, but mainly focusing it on the outer corner. That way it's like, yeah, just super, super pretty. And now, this is a small clip of me doing my eyeliner. I didn't get the full clip of me doing my wing. But if you guys do want to see a video of how I do my winged eyeliner, please, please, please let me know in the comments down below. Now I'm taking my Ardell Studio Effect Wispies and taking my curler and just prepping my lashes for the falsies. This curler is great, guys. I found it at Sephora for like $9. It was on sale. And it's my fave. So I'm taking the Maybelline Flamed Out Mascara and just applying that. This is a really great dupe for the Too Faced uh, Better Than Sex Mascara, which you guys know is my all-time favorite mascara. And now I'm just taking some tweezers and just making sure the lash is in place exactly where I want it. And yeah, I was scared at first to ever use tweezers, but it's honestly not that bad, guys. So now I'm taking my Wet n Wild foundation. And if you guys haven't tried this out, definitely go out and buy it. It was only like $5, I think. And it's just one of my favorite drugstore foundations. It's super light. It's not heavy at all. It blends out beautifully. And it's just great for my dry skin it's not cakey or thick or anything like that as i think you guys know that i absolutely hate thick foundations i hate them so yeah i love this one because you know it doesn't even feel like i'm wearing anything and i'm taking my all-time favorite um nars radiant creamy concealer and i'm just highlighting my under eyes with that covering up all my dark circles and i think this is in the shade vanilla i was using the shade custard before but i found that that one was a little too dark so i decided to use this one and i just think it's perfect i absolutely love it and as you guys know i'm a nars girl so everything nars that's like my favorite brand of all time and this concealer blends out really really nicely so that's great now I'm going in with my Airspun Translucent Powder and I'm taking this e.l.f. brush and I'm just setting my entire face with that. I have been in love with this um, translucent, translucent powder recently and now I'm just taking the yellow shade again and I'm just um, placing that on my inner corner and just blending that out. Then I'm going in with the orange shade and blending that on the lower lash line. So the same thing that I did to the top, I'm basically going to do the same thing on my lower lash line. Just adding the same colors and just blending everything out. I just find that 
it gives more color and it just looks a lot prettier and I just love it. So now this is a clip of me doing the glitter tears. I don't have the full clip because my cat actually ruined it. It's a long story, guys. But yeah, I don't have when I did my highlight or my bronzer. But here I'm taking my Alchemist palette by Kat Von D and I'm taking the pink shade. And I'm just going to add that over the highlight I have now, which is the uh, Too Faced, the new highlights. And I'm just being extra AF and adding some more highlight. And then the bronzer I used was by Kat Von D, the Shade and Light palette. And you guys know that's my, that's my holy grail. So now I am going to be taking my Kat Von D Lovesick Liquid Lipstick. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply that. But I actually thought this liquid lip was a little too pink. And I wasn't down for that. So I just went in and grabbed my Lolita 2 liquid lipstick. And just placed that on top. I just found that it, the color was just a lot better. So this is a finished look, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching.